Hi and welcome students. In this Computer Fundamentals tutorial, I'm going to be going over how to disable programs running on startup. For this example, I'm going to be talking about specifically Windows 10. Here's a little bit of background on what happens when your computer starts. When your computer starts up, it's going to run a variety of applications. These applications will be running mostly in the background of your computer, and many of them are necessary to how your operating system functions. Um, an important thing to note is that if you have too many programs running in the background of your computer, it could actually slow your computer down quite a bit. The good news is you could disable these programs. But one thing that I want to warn you about is you need to consider before you disable anything that a lot of these programs you're may not even going to know what they are. So you don't need to disable most applications. Doing that may result actually in your operating system having a lot of problems when it starts up. You only want to disable what you know you don't need. So if you know you don't need that program to start up when you start your computer, then delete it. If you have any questions about what programs should or shouldn't be running, at when you start up your operating system, you can search for them on uh, a search engine and it'll help you out. One example that I want to give is when I uh, was working in logistics, I would use Skype about once a month. However, Skype would automatically start every time that I started my computer. So if I were to start my computer, I don't necessarily want Skype to come up every single time. Since I know what that program is and I know that it is not an essential program for um, my operating system when it starts, I want to disable a program like that. Okay, so just keep that in mind. You mostly want to disable programs that are going to get in your way once you actually start up your computer. So let's learn how to disable it, and I'm going to show you the steps here, and then I'm going to go over it on my device and show you how to uh, get this done. So the first thing that you need to know is that it, uh, to disable any programs, you need to start the task manager. You can do this with a keyboard shortcut of Control, Shift, and Escape. Okay, so you hold down the Control key, hold down Shift, hold down Escape, and that's actually going to start up your Windows task manager. When you start your Windows Task Manager, you need to find the Startup tab, and that is, again, all of the applications that run immediately when you start up your computer. And then you need to click on the program that you wish to disable, and then click Disable. I'm going to show you the example right now on how to do that. So first thing that we need to do, Control shift escape You'll see that it opens up my Task Manager, and I'm going to go to this tab right here that says Startup. Okay, now on my startup, that'll, this will look different from your computer, but there's a variety of different applications that are running at the same time. Okay, and so I know that if, let's say I know out of all these applications, let's say I, w I wasn't using OneDrive, which I am, but let's say that I wasn't. I would click on OneDrive and then go to Disable and that would actually disable OneDrive from even starting when I start my computer. Now if I'm not a user of OneDrive and I know that I don't ever want to use that uh, application, well I could look right here, I could see the name of it, the publisher of that software, the status, if it's enabled or disabled, and the startup impact. So if my computer was running really slow and I didn't use OneDrive, I could see that this high impact, if I get rid of that, my uh, computer is actually going to start up a lot faster than it normally would. So hopefully this video has explained a little bit more on how to disable programs that start up when you start your computer. If this video has been helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions about what was covered in this video, please put it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest to your day.